The Louvre is the world's largest art museum and a historic monument in the city of Paris. It has more than 35,000 historic objects of great significance. According to the museum analytics, 80% of visitors are here to have a glimpse of the Mona Lisa. It's a mystery that the painting attracts so much attention, being just 77cm by 53cm in size. Considered as the most famous painting in the world, the Mona Lisa is housed behind bulletproof glass. Since the painting first arrived at the Louvre in 1815, Mona Lisa has received plenty of love letters and flowers from admirers. She even has her own mailbox. But what made Mona Lisa so famous? The Mona Lisa was painted by the great Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci between 1503 and 1519. The lady in the painting is said to be Lisa Gherardini, wife of Florentine cloth merchant named Francesco del Giocondo. However, after completion, Leonardo took the painting to France rather than giving it to the person who commissioned it. After da Vinci's death, the painting entered François I's collection, who was the king of France from 1515 to 1547. During the French Revolution, when the royal collection was turned public, the painting was a part of it. Today, it is housed in the Room of States, Mona Lisa's customary home and the museum's most visited room. Some say that the portrait could have been commissioned on the event when Francesco del Giocondo and his wife bought their own house in 1503, while others say that the portrait was painted when their second son, Andrea, was born in December 1502, after the death of their daughter in 1499. Some also say that the delicate dark veil that covers Mona Lisa's hair is a mourning veil. Mona Lisa was not always famous, which is shocking considering its worldwide fame. The painting came into limelight in 1911 when it was stolen under mysterious circumstances. But who stole the Lisa? In the year 1910, the Louvre received a letter that warned the Mona Lisa could be stolen. So museum officials hired the glazier firm Kobir to put a dozen of its most prized paintings under glass protection. One of the Kobir men assigned to the project was Vincenzo Perugia, who had joined as crew to steal the painting. One day, a painter working in a gallery at Louvre noticed that the Mona Lisa was missing. Overnight, the painting by Leonardo da Vinci disappeared into thin air that baffled the police. The Louvre announced the theft. The media exploded with the news about the missing masterpiece. At this time, tensions were escalating between France and Germany ahead of World War I. Artist Pablo Picasso and poet Guillaume Apollinaire were suspected and arrested but the two were promptly released. After a week-long shutdown, the Louvre reopened to mobs of people with empty spot of Mona Lisa that had become a mark of shame for Parisians. Two years later, in November 1913, a Florentine art dealer contacted the police about a man who had offered to bring him the painting for a reward of 500,000 lire. The dealer was none other than Vincenzo Perugia, the man behind the heist. After a brief trial in Florence, he confessed to have disguised as one of the Louvre employees. On the day of the heist, he had hidden inside the gallery until it closed for the night. He then removed the painting from its frame and escaped the following morning. During his confession, he said that he was trying to return the Mona Lisa to Italy where it originally belonged. He argued that he was a patriot and was trying to return the painting to the land of its birth. He pleaded guilty and served eight months in prison. Various attempts at vandalizing Da Vinci's famed masterpiece have been made, which have been prevented subsequently with addition of the bulletproof glass, as we see today. Though five centuries old, the painting is still intriguing to the masses.